I've made hundreds of Minecraft thumbnails and in this tutorial I will teach you how to make them in just a few minutes. So first you're going to get the clip and you're going to look for where you want to take the screenshot and you can go frame by frame if you wish. And once you find the part, you're going to click on the clip and you're going to click the three dots right here, export still frames and make sure it is 1080p so you get the best quality. So next you're going to open Photopea or Photoshop depending on what your budget is and you're going to do new project. FB event image and create. Now you're going to place the image so open place or you can drag it. Once you drag this on here, you're going to want to crop it so the player is in the middle. So you're going to drag this out. If you want to drag from the middle, you hold alt. I use Microsoft Edge when I'm using Photo P because when I full screen and I do control T, then it'll let me quickly edit it. It doesn't let me do that in other browsers for some reason. Once you've cropped it, click the check mark at the top. If you want to zoom in and out quickly, you hold Alt and you scroll up and down. And you can also do smaller adjustments with the hand tool. Now before I outline, if you want to get rid of the crosshair right here, there's two ways to do this. You can use the spot healing brush tool and you can go over it. Be sure the image is rasterized, it'll pop that up if it doesn't. And you'd hover over it and it'll fix it a little bit. And if you can still see a little bit of weirdness, you can always get the blur tool right here and blur it a bit so you don't notice it. Another way you can do this with certain images is going to the clone stamp tool and it really just depends on the situation. It's This is a lot more manual. So you hold alt to select your pattern and then you click over and it'll copy the pattern. And you can do this a few times so it doesn't overlap itself. Once that's done, it's the same process. You get the blur tool and you blur over it and just like that, crosshair is gone. Once that's done, you're going to get the pen tool and you are going to make an outline of the player it doesn't have to be perfect, by the way, remember that. Once this is done, right click, make selection, OK, Control C, V to make it in another layer right here. Make sure the outline is good. If it's a little blue right here, it's fine because we'll fix that later. Sometimes it'll bug if you click and then undo that, it'll keep an outline. So you do remove path. Now we're going to uh, add blur to the background. So you're going to do filter, blur, and you can do motion blur, radial blur, or Gaussian blur. I like to do Gaussian and motion blur. You can do radial if you want. Now we're going to add some color correction. So I'm going to first do it with the player. You can also edit the color balance if you want it to give off more of a stronger color on one of the sides. Now I'm going to edit the player. So I'm going to double click right here and now this menu will pop up. Go to gradient overlay. It looks kind of weird right now, but if you add the overlay effect, then you can kind of see it a bit more. Now we're going to add a glow. So I'm going to do a light blue glow and you can also edit it later if you want. So you can see it right here and now you lower the opacity. Now same thing with outer glow, light blue. You can make it as glowy as you want. I'm going to do a little less. And now we have the player like this. I forgot to mention something here. If you want the player to match more with the background, then you can double click, go to color overlay, select the color that you want it to match. In this situation, it would be like a purplish and then do overlay and just adjust it to your liking. If you don't like overlay, you could always just do normal, desaturate, or just any of these, just experiment with it. If you want to add text, click the text box, type whatever you want. I would also recommend typing it in all caps because it just looks better. And now this is the text menu. Select whatever text font you want. I would recommend downloading some from this website on screen. Once you've picked a font, click this, Control T. And if that doesn't work, go to edit and transform scale. Put it behind the player, center it a little bit. It should snap in place. And now you can do whatever coloring you want. If you want to do a different kind of thing where part of it overlaps, then you're going to copy it and then put the fill on zero. Go to here, stroke, and now it kind of has this overlapping effect. And if you also want the text to blend more with the background, then you go to overlay or soft light or whichever one you want. You can also just lower the opacity on that one if you like. If you want to edit the text so it bends or rounds or anything like that, select both of them, right click rasterize. Now we're going to have to edit them separate so the overlapping effect is still there. So edit, transform, warp, and now we have all these options up here. I will do bulge. You can always hide the extra layer just to see how it looks without it. If you do a stroke like that, you could also add a stroke to the player. In this case, I might blur the text a little bit. Not too much, obviously, just like that. Now for the easiest part, the overlays. So I would recommend having an overlay folder if you are serious about thumbnails. I used to use the black border, uh, this one, 
and any of these i would do them one at a time so black border Control t hold alt while you drag so it uh is equal from the center now do overlay and then same with this Control t you can lower the opacity if you want i think it's fine in this one and then this overlay if you use the same overlay multiple times and you don't want people to notice you can always just rotate the image or you can go and edit transform and you can flip them so that way it looks different on that side now i'm going to do screen and you can also blur motion blur so it blends with the background a little bit more if parts like this are a little choppy don't be afraid to just blur them or if it's the entire image that looks choppy to you filter and then gaussian blur and do about in this situation i will do one pixel now when you're finished with a thumbnail and you like it you're gonna go file export as png make sure this is not over two megabytes if it is lower the quality title it thanks for watching